Hey guys, welcome to day three of week one. Uh, we're still in the mindset, and I wanna I wanna share with you one of the most important tools um, that I learned throughout my journey of self development and um, the knowledge industry. Um, when Corona hit, um, there was a part of me that was like everyone else, uh, anxious about what's gonna happen and. How was life going to continue? But I was, I was still okay. I was okay until the day that one of the uh, testers, the guys, the a guy that I, I used to work with, a young tester really, and I, I adore him very much uh, from my previous job, like before I started being an entrepreneur. It was like many years ago, and uh, he called me. So I was like, okay, someone is calling me from this company, but I know this guy, I like him, he was different than everyone else. So I pick up the phone and uh, as we are speaking, he tells me, do you know X? So I was like, yeah, so X was uh, an office boy. He was the, the guy who would bring coffee and tea. Uh, I say, yeah, I mean, he was, he was nice. We had, we had conversations. Uh, I knew something about him, a thing or two. I knew that he had his own business. He was selling basketball shirts, and he was he was um, uh, he he would take the profit and uh, he was donating he was donating the profits of his basketball business to the patients of cancer uh, in his country. So that's as much an, as I knew about him. And he told me that he suicided. Um, the guy killed himself because he had a lot of financial debts and uh, he was uh, apparently a religious person he used to go to church but because of the early days of, of COVID everybody was uh, every everything basically everything has stopped and he was no longer allowed to go to church so maybe he was um, maybe he was alone um, he had few um, few wives uh, or and I don't know if he was married at the moment or not, but uh, he had to. Uh, he had uh, three wives, and they all had kids, and he was supposed to support them. And he also his current girlfriend was pregnant, um, so he decided to end his life. And that that really shook me. He he's the first person I know who's killed himself. The first feeling I had was guilt. Uh, I felt so guilty because I would just walk past this person and him feeling so bad that he had to end his life and I would have silly conversations like how good is this coffee and uh, teach me how to make this coffee and can you please make me coffee and like just silly conversations when he was going through so much pain. Um, and then something else really struck me that I, I realized that because of COVID, a lot of women in the Czech Republic um, who were struggling started to, to do prostitution because of their kids. And I just felt like I, th these two facts made me choke from inside and and I just felt like I want to do something and I want to help people to be able to start from scratch people who people who don't have any option that was when I started my YouTube channel and my, when I started like giving free information and when I started the, the business model that goes around um, just basically starting from scratch and um, and that's why you will see like in all my teachings um, it's, it's really from scratch. You start recording by a mobile phone. Um, you, you can start from wherever you are, right? And this was my why. This was my why until, and, and this would wake, I would wake up. I would wake up on time and I would wake up energized and nobody was paying me, right? Nobody was paying me and nobody was, nobody knew what I was doing. That was the time that I had like one or two subscribers in my YouTube channel, but I would wake up and I would be energized and I would record videos and I would talk to these people. I would be like, they need me. They need me and I need to give them this message and I need to do this for them. It was my why and it kept me fired for a long, long time. 
Uh, so I want to introduce you to an exercise that I, I learned from Dean Garciosi and this exercise will help you to reveal your why. And once you go to the core, once you are, it's like a seven, seven layers of why. Once you go to that core of your why, nothing can stop you. Then you only become unstoppable because you know that you have that, that desire in you, that, that fire that, that will keep you, that need that you have to continue and, and, and you, have, you have to do this. Um, when it when it becomes difficult, well, it will push you. You will you will continue. When it's almost impossible, you will realize that no, it's not impossible because I know my why. I'm clear. I know what I'm supposed to do, and I just have to push through. That's how important this exercise is. So I'm gonna invite you to do the exercise at the end of this video. It's an exercise that seems uh, simple, but once you do it, you will really reveal um, layers in you. Probably you will move from your mind to your heart and you will discover what is your why, right? And hopefully it will keep you fueled and, and, and hope and it, it will, I tried this exercise with many people, they were all surprised. I was surprised when I did it. The exercise is basically, so you ask yourself, uh, or let me ask you, let me ask you, um, what is the reason that you invested in this course? That's there number one. So for me, it was like, um, what is the reason you invested in this course? And uh, my answer was like, I, I want to move forward. I don't have any more time. Okay, and why is this important to you? And for me, the answer was, um, it's important to me because I need to provide monetarily to my family. And why is this important to you? It's important to me because it, I'm going through a, a critical family time and I need to, um, I, I need to support them. Okay. And then I don't remember the rest of my answers, but what I can tell you is that when I, when I reached level five, something happened and I just suddenly felt this anger. Uh, Dean Garciosi says that when he tried it uh, in about level four or five or six as well, something happened and he started crying. He busted his tear out and um, uh, so I'm warning you, this exercise could be um, um, it is touchy, it is deep, and it could reveal stuff that you didn't know about. Um, so go through it. Um, when I reached level 7, which is the last one, um, I realized that for me, um, equality is important and I'm doing this because I want to give everyone an equal opportunity. Um, it doesn't matter where you are coming from, what is your background, um, how you were raised up or what resources you had, who was supporting you. I was very lucky to grow up in a supportive family and I had all my financial, financial needs uh, met but what I think is important for me is that everyone should have an equal opportunity. So it doesn't matter if someone grew up poor, they didn't have education, didn't have the opportunity to discover themselves sooner, they didn't have the support, nothing. It doesn't import them because what really matters, like for me, what drives me is that we all have equal opportunity and to be able to have equal opportunity you need to secure yourself um, financially. And there is, there is a need, there is a need inside all of us to, to help others and, and to contribute. A contribution is, is a true need and sometimes it is the fire that is, that is just burning inside you and that keeps you moving. So that's why I'm doing this, this is my why. Um, these are like two whys that I figured out. The first one was um, just happened because, because of a situation. So it was, uh, it was on the uh, surface level. The second one 
was uh, was it was a very personal why to me and you might be surprised that your why could be very personal and it, it might not make sense to anybody uh, but to you it will mean something so i invite you to do the exercise and see you tomorrow